Austin duo John and Hawks enjoyed national attention on NBC's hit show The Voice, and now they're enjoying some extra love back here at home in Austin. Entertainment reporter Taylor Ellison got a chance to hear more on their experience. Let's hear it. You guys have been on such a journey. Tell us about the experience of being on The Voice. Well, it started off um, the audition process. We were in LA uh, and we were actually there on the Southern California tour and it was at the end of the tour that we got the invite to come and, and do the like the second callback audition. So we were like, okay, this is all lining up. It seems, seems serendipitous. So we kind of jumped at the opportunity. Yeah, and it's been a crazy wild ride. We'd never performed on any kind of stage like the one you see on TV. It felt a little bit like being at a theme park with the lights and the cameras and so many people. And I bet. I was going to ask you about that. It was just a tremendous energy being there in that room. Yeah, definitely. Really and we were trying to just look at each other during the performances, mostly so we wouldn't get nerve-wracked nerve, nerve by like all the coaches who were there who were big superstars. And just kind of thrive off each other's energy. Yeah, because that's right. home. That feels normal. Yes, and I'm sure you made so many friends on the show with mm -hmm. artists and the coaches. Kind of who are you rooting for now or who are you loving to watch? We Gosh, have that's a good question. Sure. Because we, uh, yeah, we have our favorites like the, that we really think are just bringing it to the show. Um, uh, Josh Kaufman, I think his, his ability, like his versatility is just awesome. He kind of reminds us a little bit of uh, Caroline from last season where he's got such a cool character to yes. his voice, but like every song he does, I think he just nails it so much. But yeah, yeah I texted him the night that he did his uh, um, Stay With Me Stay With Me song and I was like, golly, dude, I've never heard your voice. The high range was so like delicate, but like you had control of it. Oh, that's it. But anyway, so he's he's kind of one of our favorites. And then, then that, that first audition, uh, Christina Grimmie, from that moment we saw, saw her, we we're like, whoa, dude, she's such a pro. And so. I'm sure this will be friendships that last a lifetime. You guys yeah. shared something really special together. Yeah, but we, we love all the people on the show. Like, we love Kat, who's, who is also, she's moving along. And, and Delvin, De every time we see Delvin, we're like, miss hanging out with him because he's such a character. Half of the experience was, you know, nerve-wracking, like being in front of a big interview, but then the other half was a lot like summer camp. Yes. So that's where you end up being good friends with everybody. That's well, so humbling and cool. And it sounds like you got some extra love from a really cool organization here, Black Fret. Can right. you tell us a little bit about that experience? Yeah, so Black Fret uh, is an organization that basically does like artist enrichment and they um, support uh, with grants um, a selected um, artist and, and they basically they nominate 20 artists and then they narrow it down to 10 and they give them grants and we, we kicked off their listening season. They had uh, sort of like a season to each thing so they selected the artists and then they kind of listened to them all and sort of pay attention to them and then I think at some point they sort of pick some. But during the whole process, one of the cool parts we're really excited about is they have a mentoring uh, part of aspect of it too. So it's not just it's not just the grant. You actually kind of get some insight, which we're really excited about. You know, having mm -hmm. some some uh, some even more because we got so addicted to having that professional input on our career and performance. It's really sure. nice to have that. That is so neat. Well, congrats to you guys on that. Oh, I can't nice. wait to see how that transpires. That was really Very cool. Very cool. And now you're working on a campaign for your first full-length album, yeah. correct? And you've been raising funding for that. Right. Which I believe yeah. finishes up this week. Exactly. Yes. I think we have maybe yeah. two more days. A few more days. Uh -huh. Left to, to contribute. It's the first time we've ever done crowdsourcing to help fund a, a campaign for our new album. And it's really going to hopefully help us have the album of our dreams. We awesome. had a short EP that we created mm -hmm. at home a couple summers ago, and this one will be in a studio, full length, all that songs we've been writing for the last year that are just ready to be born. All right, we have a performance from the duo on our website right now at kxan.com. You can catch them live, though, Thursday at Strange Brew, and you can catch the remaining eight artists on The Voice. Tonight starts at 7.